What if I told you that you could work for one of America's favorite retailers without ever stepping foot in a store? You've probably shopped at Target, maybe even worked their stocking shelves or manning the cash register. But did you know that Target also offers a wide range of work from home job opportunities? And while these positions open and close based on business needs, knowing what's available helps you prepare for when they do post new openings. So how can you tap into these remote job opportunities at Target and potentially upgrade your career without leaving your home office? Well, stick around because in this video, I'm gonna reveal 10 work from home jobs currently available at Target. So whether you're a creative type, a number cruncher, or a people person, there might be a perfect remote position waiting for you at this retail giant. Now, before we dive in, these are gonna be some great opportunities, but I did put together a free guide called Get Hired Now, Top 20 Sites for Landing Remote Gigs. And it's packed with resources to help you find even more work from home opportunities. And it'll be a really good supplement to this video that will help you land a remote job. So check the link out in the description to grab your copy. First First up is an associate account manager. Now, this job is like being the cool kid at the lunch table, but instead of managing your squad's drama, you're managing client relationships and campaigns, and you'll be the bridge between Target and its partners, making sure everything runs smoother than a freshly waxed linoleum floor. So let's break down the responsibilities. First of all, you're gonna be managing client accounts and campaigns, developing strategic plans for client growth, and analyzing campaign performance and making data-driven decisions. And just as an example here, a new associate account manager in the insurance industry seeks advice on preparation materials for their new role. And an experienced professional responds suggesting that while some preparation is good, most learning occurs on the job. And they advise focusing on understanding industry basics, policy structures, and company processes, while emphasizing the importance of patience during the learning period and highlighting the career growth opportunities in insurance. Now, let's talk money. According to Glassdoor, the average salary for this position at Target is about seventy eight dollars to $123,000 a year. So if you thought you couldn't make money working for a company like Target? Well, you actually can. And the best part is you can do it all from the comfort of your home. But realistically, a career like that is a bit hard to get into, and you probably have to have some previous experience and possibly even a college degree as well. But number two on the list, which is digital copywriter, doesn't necessarily require that. In fact, when it comes to copywriting, all they really care about is you demonstrating your skills. And here's what you'll be doing as a digital copywriter. Crafting compelling product descriptions that make people want to buy, writing email campaigns that actually get opened and read, and creating social media content that gets likes, shares, and comments. And just as an example, this is from a digital copywriter for a different company, but Adriana, a digital copywriter, spends her day managing client work, acquiring new clients, learning and improving skills, and handling meetings or calls, all while balancing work efficiency with lifestyle goals. So the thing about copywriting is it's one of those skills where you don't necessarily get a college degree in order to learn it, and almost everybody starts off copywriting by either learning online or just starting. So if you have a good portfolio, that's all you really need in order to land a job. And copywriters at Target make about forty-eight to seventy-six thousand dollars a year. That's a lot of dough for stringing some words together. And the best part, you can do it all from your home office. Now, if you want to learn just about any of the skills in this video, Coursera has lots of free training and amazing certificates that you can take. For instance, there are social media manager certificates and even e-commerce digital marketing certificates. And an e-commerce digital marketing certificate would definitely help you land a job like this. So definitely check those out. I'll leave a link down in the description and the pinned comment below. Next on the list is going to be an inventory analyst. Now for all of you number crunchers out there, we've got the inventory analyst position. And this job is like being the Sherlock Holmes of Target stock. And you'll be solving the mystery of where did all the toilet paper go? And trust me, after 2020, that's a skill that's in high demand. Now with all joking aside, let's break down what you'll be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. First of all, you'll be analyzing inventory data to optimize stock levels. You'll be forecasting demand for products across different seasons. And you'll be collaborating with suppliers to ensure timely deliveries. Now, here's a review from someone who's an inventory analyst for Target. They think it's a great entry-level role for recent college grads, but the work-life balance is not that great. This person likes flexibility and how the company cares about the employee's well-being, but they don't like the information is made public before notifying the employees. So there's a lot of good and also a lot of bad. But with that being said, a lot of these jobs are relatively easy to land compared to the normal job, so you gotta kinda just take what you can there. Now let's talk compensation. According to Glassdoor, inventory analysts at Target can earn between sixty-one and ninety-four thousand dollars a year, and that's a lot of cheddar for keeping the shelves stocked. And the best part, you can do this all from your home office. Just try not to hoard all the good snacks for yourself. All right, tech wizards, this one's for you. The data engineer role at Target is like being the Tony Stark of retail. You'll be building the digital infrastructure that keeps Target running. Now, I'll be real with you. This one is more of a mid-level position. So if you're just starting out, you might need to level up your skills first. However, I am going to be talking about roles that you can do in order to get into this role. Now here's 
what you'll be doing as a data engineer, designing and implementing data pipelines, optimizing data storage and retrieval systems, and collaborating with data scientists to turn insights into action. Now, one role that you can get into before becoming a data engineer, where you can kind of learn the ropes and basically get the skills necessary to become a data engineer, is going to be a data analyst. And Google does have a phenomenal certificate which you can check out. It's the Google Data Analyst Professional Certificate, and it's highly recommended by me as well as anyone else who's an expert on data analysis. And you can check that out by clicking the link down in the description and the pinned comment below. This conversation shows two contrasting experiences in entering data engineering in different companies. The first person is struggling to gain skills and find an entry-level role, while the second shares a success story of self-learning and perseverance through setbacks and eventually landing a data engineering job with career growth. So there you go. That's the good and the bad. But according to Glassdoor, data engineers at Target can make anywhere between eighty-four and a hundred and forty-one thousand dollars a year, and that's some serious cash for playing with ones and zeros. But remember, in the world of tech your learning never stops. And that's a good thing because it's easy to learn new skills as they pop up, but it's also a bad thing for some people because you do constantly have to learn new skills. Next up, we've got the recruiter position. Now, this job is perfect for those of you who love playing matchmaker, but instead of setting up your friends on an awkward blind date, you'll be matching awesome candidates with targets open positions. That's what she said. <laughs> So let's break down what you'll be doing. First of all, you're gonna be sourcing and screening potential candidates. You're also gonna be conducting interviews and assessing cultural fit, and you're gonna be guiding candidates through the hiring process. Now, just as an example, this person was asking about a typical day in a recruiter's life. And the response comes from an agency recruiter who described their day filled with constant phone calls, voicemails, messaging, and chasing clients for feedback. And they said that while the work is tedious, achieving success makes everything worthwhile. Now let's talk about the rewards. According to Glassdoor, recruiters at Target can earn between 61 and $101,000 a year. So that's pretty good money. And it's a job that has really high job satisfaction. Next on the list is going to be a lead engineer. And this is a position that's actually open as we speak. And I'll be straight with you, this is definitely a mid to senior level role. So if you're just starting out, consider this your North Star. But what's good is this is something to look forward to as you level up your skills. So this is what you do as a lead engineer, architecting and implementing complex software solutions, leading a team of developers and mentoring junior engineers, and collaborating with product managers to drive innovation. And this is a lead engineer from a different company. She spends the day in meetings, coordinating teams, managing projects, and coding when possible, and providing guidance on solution design. And according to Glassdoor, lead engineers at Target can earn between $155 to $261,000 a year. So if you thought Target was cheap, no, they're actually paying some of their employees a quarter million dollars a year. And that just goes to show that it's all about the skill set that you have and how rare that skill set is in the market. At the end of the day, it all goes back to supply and demand. There's a massive amount of demand for people who have that skill set, and there's not that many people who actually do have the skills. So if you can learn those skills, there's going to be so many companies that are going to be fighting over you, and of course, they're going to have to raise the salary in order to land you. Next is a fraud resolution specialist, and this is a job title that sounds like it came straight out of a spy movie. That's right, you're going to be Target's very own James Bond, but instead of shaking martinis, you'll be stirring up solutions for fraud cases. Now let's break down what you'll be doing on a day-to-day -day basis investigating suspicious transactions and activities, implementing fraud prevention strategies, and collaborating with law enforcement whenever necessary. Now, I know what you're thinking, Shane, how intense can retail fraud actually be? Well, let me tell you, my friends. It's like trying to catch a greased up pig at a county fair, which by the way, I actually did that one time. But an example of somebody doing this is a fraud resolution specialist investigates suspicious activity by reviewing alerts, analyzing data, writing reports, and collaborating with law enforcement to resolve fraud cases. Now, let's talk money. According to Glassdoor, the average salary for this position at Target is around forty-three dollars to $62,000 a year. So this is a little bit of a lower paying position. With that being said, it is one that you can actually land without having to have a ton of experience or a college degree. And that's not too shabby for playing detective from your home office. Next on our list is the associate designer role. And listen up, because at the time of writing this video, this one is currently hiring. Yes, Target is looking for creative minds to join their team. So if you can make designs pop like a fresh can of Pringles, this could be your chance to shine in this role. Role. And in this job, on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll be creating eye-catching graphics for social media, designing packaging that makes products fly off the shelves, and collaborating with marketing teams to bring campaigns to life. Now, just as an example, a new associate designer at IBM seeks advice on job expectations and software tools, receiving a response from an experienced designer about typical software used and the nature of the role. And the responder shares their personal experience using software like Figma and XD for UI work, with occasional use of Photoshop, Illustrator, and Merle for various design tasks. They also mention 
extension of the first four to six weeks will likely involve training and offer further assistance if needed. So if you've got a creative spark and an eye for design, this could be your ticket to the big leagues. And speaking of big leagues, let's talk salary. Because according to Glassdoor, associate designers at Target make 60 to $87,000 a year. And that's not bad for turning your doodles into dollars. No, seriously, getting paid to do art is incredibly rare. And especially being able to get paid to do art as a job. Usually only the people who get paid to do art are people who take big risks, become entrepreneurs, professional artists, etc. And the cherry on top is you can do all of this from your home studio. All right, all you organizers and planners out there, this one's for you. Target is on the hunt for project managers to keep things running smoothly. Now here's what you'll be doing as a project manager. You'll be coordinating cross-functional teams to deliver projects on time and on budget, managing project timelines, resources, and risks. And you'll be ensuring clear communication between all stakeholders. Now project management is another super valuable skill set that Google themselves teaches people. They literally tell people exactly what skills they want them to know. And they do that with the Google Project Management Professional Certificate, which again, you can check out in the link down in the description and the pinned comment below. Now, just as an example from a real life project manager, somebody at RPM, a Broadway company, oversees the full project life cycle, coordinating with various teams to ensure tasks are completed efficiently, handling unexpected challenges, and keeping everything on track using project management software. And let's talk about the reward for all that juggling. Well, you can make between seventy-eight and $130,000 a year. And there's lots of opportunities for other jobs you can go into down the line once you have that project manager skill set. Project management is kind of like entrepreneurship with training wheels. And if you can get really good at that, you can definitely help the business run itself in other ways as well. And that's a great way for you to give value to the business and therefore be compensated. And the best thing is you can do it all from your home command center. Just try not to boss around your family members too much. Next is going to be a lead strategist. Now I'll be straight with you. This is definitely more of a mid-level role. So if you're just starting out, consider this your ultimate goal. Something to work towards is you climb the corporate target ladder. But here's what you'll be doing on a day-to-day -day basis as a lead strategist. You'll be developing long-term strategic plans for target's growth. You'll be analyzing market trends and consumer behavior, and you'll be leading cross-functional teams to implement strategic initiatives. And just as an example, Alicia works for Motion and she spends her day researching and analyzing data, writing briefs, ideating new concepts, and collaborating with clients and team members across various stages of the creative strategy process for multiple clients. Now let's talk about about the big bucks. According to Glassdoor, lead strategists at Target make about $86,000 to $157,000 a year. And that's some serious cash for being able to play chess with Target's future. Now, by the way, another company that you can work for that has a ton of jobs, in fact, they have so many people working for them that they have more people than many states or even countries out there, is Amazon. And I made a video about the best jobs at Amazon for beginners, which you can check out by clicking right here.